Oh, hello, Cynthia. Everyone's favorite waifu. Oh, is that a Pokedex? You must be helping Professor Rowan. What's your name? Okay, hello, Kaylee. I'll be sure to remember that name. My name is Cynthia. I'm a trainer just like you. I've been studying Pokemon mythology lately, just out of curiosity. Here in Eterna City, there is a statue of an ancient Pokemon. According to my myth, it was an extremely powerful Pokemon. Who knows, you may encounter something like it while you're traveling with your Pokedex. Try using these, they should help you on your way. You obtained TM90 Freeze. Cut in the Hidden Moves app allows you to chop down small trees that are blocking your way. Remember, you can use the Hidden Move. Oh yeah. It will let you go places that were previously inaccessible to you. That's important for filling up your Pokedex, right? Then be then luck be with you, young trainer. At least until I slaughter you! So anyway... <laughs> I believe now... Yep, I have to go to the gym. Okay. She's Grass-type, I believe. Which I actually don't have anyone that's good against it. Oh, shit. Let's see. What do you know right now? It knows Poison Fang, at least. So I think I'm gonna have to put Crossblade first. And I'm gonna have to be really careful, because the zoom out technically is not very strong. I'll be waiting for you in the back. Good luck, Challenger. Thanks, I'm probably gonna die. Okay, we're gonna have to be very careful not to murder Zubat. <laughs> Where are these fools? Oh, there's one. Had you know where to find me? Let's have our battle. Your head was kind of sticking out. Alright, Caroline, Caroline. Let's see how we do. At least the Cherubi hopefully should not know any <laughs> any rock type moves. <laughs> okay, and they're luckily not doing it much damage to us. Though I should get Crossblade to learn Wing Attack. I think it learns it pretty soon. Because we're gonna need a flying type move. I forget if she has a grass poison. Probably since Budu's a thing in this region. I guess Bender is also a backup that could be used. Yeah, Roselia. So, let's switch in Bender. I need to get a feel for how both of them are kind of going to perform, because I feel like we're going to be defending on them the most. Well, at least Bender can, switch, can dish out a lot of damage. I'm worried about if it can't one-hit KO something, though. Past the two boulders. Alright, let's go ahead and challenge them. You won't let me win easily. Please don't murder my friends. <laughs> okay, I think between Bender and Crossblade, we might be okay for Gardenia. I don't think she's that difficult. I mean, granted, I'm practicing up against Budoos right now, but... <laughs> Even when you try to conceal it, you can't hide the aroma of flowers. Maybe that's the truth, but unfortunately I cannot smell. Well, at least Crossblade can go ahead and mess that up, because it's a pure grass type at this point. Alright, fainted him. Unfortunately, Crossblade did not quite get to level 18. But we do have one more challenger in here before the gym leader, I believe. Alright, found the last one. We'll get a little bit of the XP from her and kind of see how we're doing. Then we'll go against Gardenia. Alright, knock him out! Yeah. All right, Crossblade and Bender are both up an extra level. Oh, Psycho Cut, nice. Crossblade did not quite learn Wing Attack. Is it 18 or 19? Well, obviously it's not 18, but I think it must be 19. Oh well, I'm gonna go ahead and heal up, and then let's go ahead and tackle on the gym leader. I think we're ready. Because I think really the only thing that might be concerning is her Roserade, or Roselia, whichever one she has at this point, and I'm pretty sure we can take them down. <sighs> okay, let's hope we're not making a huge mistake.
You kept me waiting. I'm Eternus Gym City, Gardenia, the grass type master. When I first saw you, I was convinced you'd find your way to me. My hunch was right on the money. You have a winning aura about you. So anyway, this will be fun. Let's have our battle. Alright, let's try not to die. Alright. First up, we got Cherubi. That should not be a problem at all. Growth. Okay, not too bad. Hopefully she'll waste a potion. Nope, didn't quite. That's fine. Alright, got one down. Turtwig. I'm gonna keep Zubat in. Because I think the last one's gonna be Grass Poison and I'll have Bender take care of that one. Alright, good. Got the poison off from the church week, too. Okay, strong against physical moves, but that's okay because at least the poison is gonna chip down on his health, too. And then Bender, of course, uses special attack. Ooh, that really cut down on my physical. At least you're not doing too much damage to me, though. Alright, hopefully one poison fang and one hit from poison will... It was just a poison thing, okay. Good job, Zubat. Roserade, alright. Bender, I'm counting on you. It's not the end yet. It isn't. Hopefully this will end okay. Alright, Roserade. Let's look at the move info. Okay, Psycho Cut is physical. I don't want to do that, I don't think. Yeah. Special attack is like twice as strong as their physical. So even though Psycho Cut is a lot stronger, I think I want to stick with Confusion. Ooh, take the hit. Oh! Holy shit! Shit! Fucking shit! Fuck! Okay, uh... <laughs> that's the... Emo Simba? That did not go well at all. Okay, maybe that'll help a little bit. Stop! Using Petal Blizzard. Okay, that did not do much to Emo Simba, at least. Okay. Let's do Bite. How fucking fast is this thing? <gasps> Emo Simba, no! Shit! Uh. Okay, I need to think about this for a minute. Fuck. I'm almost thinking I should switch in Bonsai because it's not gonna be super effective against me. The only thing I have is Tackle, but I think that's better than nothing at this point. Because I really don't think Crossblade's going to be able to do much. It's taken up a third of my health each time with Grass Knot. I did not get any super potions like a dumbass. Okay, I'm stuck. Because Roserade hit Bender first. If I switch him out, there's no way that I'll be able to hit first and knock him out. Stacy and Torpedo can't take a hit. I don't know how Crossblade's gonna take a hit from a level 22 Roserade. Shoot. Maybe I should switch in a Sacrifice. Try to get as much health off of that Roserade as possible and then switch in Crossblade. I think that's my best option at this point. Stacy. I'm sorry. Crossblade, you need to do this for me. I 
least that gives me a chance. No! Are you kidding me? going off on a whim. Let's try to supersonic it. Oh, come on. I need to do something. Okay. Okay, I think I need to heal Crossblade back up while it's confused. Okay, I'm running out of time. Does Astonish or Poison Fang do more? Okay, Poison Fang does a lot more. One more potion. I need to get this rose right out. She better not have another super potion. Okay, come on, just one more hit. God. I should have prepared more for that. I flat out was not prepared for that. Oh my god. <laughs> you wanna you wanna learn the move bite? That's that that that's great. That's that's great. <laughs> that went wrong so fast. Amazing your you killed two of my Pokemon. You shut the f Fuck up. Might have said before, but you're really tough. Wasn't it hard for- <laughs> Yeah, it was hard and you killed too fast. <laughs> that did not go well. At all. <laughs> I should have grinded up more. That was my bad. Yeah, great stickers. That's gonna make up for my dead Pokemon. Yeah, Grass Nut. One of the moves that killed some of my Pokemon. <sighs> Alright. I didn't want to do this, but... We have to say goodbye to two of our friends today. What do we got? Ooh, a Shanx. Not bad, not bad. I'm, like, debating between a shitpost name and <laughs> an actually good name. And I am going with the shitpost one. <laughs> Emo Simba has been added to the party. Oh, speaking of which, he is gonna become more emo, hell yeah. You heard me, didn't you? Uh, I don't like Geodude. Stacy, I'm sorry. Emo Simba, you did really well, and I'm really sad to see you go. You're a really good Pokemon. Unfortunately, I failed you today. Stacy, I know I given you a hard time when I first got you, but you kind of grew on me. I'm sorry that I used you to sacrifice, but thanks to you, we were able to win. Rest in peace. Now the question, who am I going to switch in? I think for now, I'm switching in Chippy and Playboy. 
It's because we don't really don't need another flying type right now. And Chippy will help give us some electric type moves for right now. Okay. Before we do anything, I'm going to go ahead and heal up and go train a little bit because we need to get Chippy and Playboy a couple levels up because I think we're going to be fighting Team Galactic here in a minute. Shoot, that went bad so quick. That just went really bad. Okay, let's train up a little. You know, looking back on it... Like, I, I didn't realize it at that point. I thought the Roserade was going to do a lot more damage to Zubat, but I probably could have just switched in Zubat without having to sacrifice Stacy. Oh well. Chippy, what do you got for me? Mushroom? Cool. Put it in my bag. We'll use it to pay for my funeral expenses. You know, since this is a Nuzlocke, I really need to put more emphasis on using berries and stuff. And I need to stock up on super potions, because if I did that, I would have been able to win without so many casualties. I'm just glad she did not faint my Kadabra. That would have sucked really bad. Aw, a Shellos, I could have gotten one of you. Ah, that would have been great. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not really like an expert Nuzlocke or anything. So, sorry if like some of the calls I kind of do were really bad in hindsight. I mean, I'm basically like coming off of like work, so I'm tired, and then I panic, so I don't make the best decisions. I wonder too if there's any moves I could teach any of my Pokemon to kind of give her some better movesets. Let's see, I got Rock Smash. Stealth Rock, Bullet Seed, Cut, and Grass Knot. Let's see what all of my Pokemon know real quick, because I actually don't know Chippy and Playboy's moveset. We've got Growl, Baby Doll Eyes, Quick Attack, and Charm, Splash, Pound, Defense Girl, and Baby Doll Eyes. Okay, we definitely need to get you two some better moves. You know, it's teach Chippy Cut for right now, and I'll teach Playboy maybe Grass Knot. Maybe Grass Knot and Cut. Alright, got Chippy and Playboy a couple of better moves. That way they can hopefully hold up a little bit better. Let's get them a little bit more experience, though. Okay, I got Playboy up to level 12 and Chippy up to level 10. It's really gonna take a while to get them up to where they need to be. So I think I'm going to go ahead and go on to the next area. I'm not going to quite battle the admin there, but I am going to go ahead and battle the grunts just to get them up a couple more levels quicker. All right, let's go ahead and handle the grunts at least. All right, I actually don't think these grunts are able to get us that much EXP if his level 13 Wurmple is anything to go by, but we're going to do our best. Let's have Playboy try to have a turn at it. If they're really going to be around the same level. I mean, a Caskin really can't do that much to us. Alright, that got Playboy and Chippy up a level, which is good. God, these guys look like such nerds. <laughs> Alright, defeated the two downstairs grunts. The thing I'm really worried about, if I'm remembering this place correctly, is that freaking scun tank. So I definitely want to get experience up before I try to do that. Damn, I shouldn't have sacrificed Stacy. She would have been good against the scun tank. Oh well. Alright, instead of going straight to fight Jupiter, because I will freaking die, I'm gonna go ahead and grind just a tiny bit more, get everyone up a little higher level. You know, fighting against like 50 million boos is not working. I think I'm gonna head to Route 211, catch the first po encounter here, and grind here, because there's probably gonna be higher level Pokemons.
First thing I encounter is a Bidoof. <laughs> Okay, never kind of chingling actually before. Doesn't hurt to try now. Okay, chingling, let's let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Jeez. Okay, torpedo, let's get you out of there. <laughs> uh, bonsai, you want to have a go? Trying to catch this thing. All right, got Chingling. Don't know if I'll ever use her, but at least we have her as a backup. All right, let's give her a nickname. All right, Jingle. We're going to go ahead and send you to a box for now. All right, there's a couple trainers down here. Let's actually go ahead and battle them. All right, just two trainers and TM, f TM f taunts or whatever. Not many, <laughs> not much good stuff here, but... I guess at least I got Torpedo up to level 20. You know, nothing sucks more than knowing that most of your team cannot take a hit and that you have a heady hitter coming. <laughs> and something with no weaknesses too. Because that Skun Tank is not only Dark Poison, which really does not have any weaknesses to speak of now that I no longer have a ground type, but it also knows Flame Forward and Poison type moves. And it's bulky as shit. So Bender can't do anything to it because of the dark type thing. And Bonsai really can't do anything to it because of the poison typing. Chippy and Playboy are both under level right now. Torpedo really can't do much. And Crossblade, I'm worried about taking a lot of hits. Because Crossblade is currently a Zubat. And Skuntank is fully evolved Pokemon. I mean, Torpedo just lost like a fourth of health from... A lower level meta type. There's no way he's gonna be able to take a hit from a level 20 skun tank. 